Raffle Raffle YouTube, my name is Master Raffle, and this here to give you guys another part in our Let's Play of Civilization 5 Gods and Kings All Civilizations Challenge, starting yours truly, Master Raffle, and Bismarck of the Nazi German Cult of the Water Buffalo Nation, Empire, Superpower, whatever you guys want to call it. So, this could very well be our last recording, or it could be our second to last recording as what should have been our last recording actually caused my computer to crash. So, that's why you didn't see a lot of Civilization videos coming out. Because, well, I kind of, well, was a little bit discouraged in recording any more videos of this Let's Play. I mean, after 90 or so vid uh, parts, you kind of get a little bit tired. And then, of course, when all of a sudden, oh, my computer, my game starts to crash on me, and then the entire save file gets corrupted, and you, and you have to kind of, like, Retrace your steps and go back and grind your way to where you were, you know, you, you left off. It's kind of a little bit annoying. It, it really is. And then, you know, you have to do all this shit already that you already did. And it's infuriating. It really is. But now we're, we're back. We're kind of close to where we were. I think I might be a turn behind, but that should be all fine. Alright, so a recap for everyone before, like, you know, we start this up. So, because, like, I know a lot of people don't really keep up with the series a lot, and that's all fine. I mean, it's 90 parts, so how can you? We're Nazi Germany. We conquered everyone, kicked their asses, chewed their bubble gums, and we're pushing all the way to Mongolia and conquering their capital, and then we're going to go and push south to Delhi, conquering this capital over here. We're then going to retrace our steps, go back, conquer Mecca, and then we're going to conquer Honolulu. And once we're done with that, then we won the game. And that's it. So uh, this could be our final part. Assuming that the game doesn't crash on me. Like a, I don't know, a rat with Down Syndrome. And let's begin. So right now I see like the Mongolians are trying to take my city. They will never take it till it's caught alive. Ha ha ha. My workers keep getting hit by these guys. This is why I don't keep my workers on automated because then they're just going to get annihilated by ships at sea because the AI pathing in this game is just ridiculously stupid. Alright, we can push forward with my giant death robots. Try to take night Najango. Nagano. Nagano. That's not hard actually. Nagano. Nagano. Ho ho. It sounds like sounds Italian to be honest. Alright, so let's just push right now. Let's see what we can do. Nothing really. We can't really do anything. God, I hate this funnel action. I hate, I hate like, situations in Civilization 5 where you have, I don't know, 15 or so units and all of a sudden, hey, funnel, choke point, yay. Because those, those are so fun to maneuver through. So, so fun. Oh, I just love going through funnels and choke points. Alright, so let's just keep these guys on sleep mode, actually. And actually, we should start healing this, um, these guys up. Wake up. Go to sleep. Alright. The um, invasion of Honolulu, Honolulu is about to begin. I almost said Honolulu. 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 Okay, we've landed. Oh, wow, we took out a Gatling gun. Okay, um, I think this war is pretty much over. You know, uh, the the days of the Hawaiians ruling the islands are going to be washed away soon. And the might of the Nazi Empire will befall the small little Hawaiian nation. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Alright, so let's nuke Delhi. Fuck you, Gandhi! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! I told you guys I would nuke Gandhi. I told you I would nuke Gandhi. You know what? I did it. I fucking did it, and I love it. Oh, nothing smells greater than Indian people roasting in a barbecue of radioactive acid. No, not to say I hate Indian people by any stretch of the imagination, but um, Gandhi's an asshole, so. His entire nation can burn right now. Not the real-life Indian nation. I'm, I'm talking about this game. 
Alright, so right now, no bubble Sams. It seems like that nuke was able to just completely annihilate his forces in Delhi, which is good. Alright, so we can put most of these guys to sleep, actually. Oh, I always hate how quick, uh, quick movement and quick combat work for aircraft units, since sometimes they don't really register when they're asleep and when they're not, and it's kind of a little bit annoying. Granted, though, things are going by really fast. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Yep. Okay, good, good. What do I do with these two giant death robots? I guess station here. Um, them in Cusco. And you can attack Na Nagano. Nope, no, you can't actually. Never mind. Oh, right. Nuclear missile. Uh, fu must fire at Cankrum. Yes. Fire nuke. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> now I know the location for the new Fallout 4 game. Cankrum, Mongolia. Actually, that would be pretty cool to have a Fallout game in Asia. You know, during the time when the Chinese were attacking the Americans and they were at war with the Americans during uh, World War 3 in uh, Fallout 3. Or did they only fight in Alaska and then nuclear war just happened? I'm not sure. I have to look back on my knowledge of Fallout. Which isn't very extensive, believe you and me, but... You know, it's, I, I do have some experience with the Fallout games. I have played them a little bit. Wish there was a Fallout strategy game. Oh, no, wait, that would be bad. No. Then your vehicles would break down every five seconds and zombies would come out of nowhere. Alright, so, so far, two nukes, two cities annihilated. This is looking pretty swell right now. Once we conquer Nagano, we just push forward, conquer Kankarum, and then we're done. We are done. Well, actually, we do have to go back and conquer Mecca, like I said beforehand, but Mecca's easy. It's a cakewalk, really. Wow, that's a lot of small damage to my guys. Oh, that's in uh, Calcutta, I'm guessing. I mean, not uh, Calcutta, Delhi. Where is Calcutta, anyway? Oh, they didn't... Oh, there is Calcutta. There it is. In the Himalayas, for some god knows what reason. You know, after playing 100 turns of this game, I have to say... Well, not 100 turns. More like 400 to maybe even 550. I mean, not 550. 450 when we're finally done with this Let's Play. I have to say, after this amount of time, I have concluded that this game is a load of fun mid, early, and early late game. But when it gets to late late game, like right now, it kind of gets a little bit boring. Because there's nothing really to do besides steamroll with de giant death robots or wait till your scientific victory is done. Or your diplomatic victory or your, or your um, cultural victory. I mean, the game is pretty fun. Don't get me wrong. But... The victories that you have to achieve are pretty, pretty, I don't know, grindy. You have to grind your way toward getting, you know, culture victory. And you have to grind your way towards getting the scientific victory. And you have to kind of grind your way towards the diplomatic victory. But with the quest system that they have in place, it's not like that somewhat. But at the same time, giving out gold and massive supplies of gold to different city-states is a better way at getting a lot of allies really quickly for a diplomatic victory in my in my eyes to be honest simply because some goals you can never even achieve like how can you denounce one of your civilization i mean one of your city states who is allied to you or ask for tribute from that city state who's allied to you and then go back on him and get an ally of another city state you could potentially lose one city state and gain another and because of that, you'd be doing that over and over and over again because city-states kind of hate each other a lot more than civilizations do for some god knows what reason. I don't know why they do, but I, I guess they just don't know how to get along. Why can't be, we be friends? Why can't we be friends? So it's kind of like that, sort of, the diplomatic victory. It's a little bit weird. It is. Like, how, how come city-states always hate each other? Like... I see more of, oh, can you attack this city-state, or can you ask for tribute from this city-state? More than, like, any other quest, really. 
I think they should kind of balance out how often those uh, quests come about. But that's just a, a minor nuisance from me, really. But the culture game, yeah, it's very grindy. You need to build a lot of culture buildings. And then at the same time, it's a little bit broken. Because as you can see, I have a huge, huge empire. And I shouldn't be getting as much culture as I am right now. But as you can see, I can very well win a culture victory. And that shouldn't work out in, with the, the way the culture is structured in this game. I mean, the way uh, culture is structured in this game is pretty simple. More cities you have, the more culture you need to get a social policy. But at the same time, the amount of social uh, culture I'm making is crazy. Like, absolutely fucking crazy. And yes, I have been building a lot of culture buildings. But at the same time, it's just so grindy to just make all these culture buildings and just wait till you get a victory. I mean, I don't know. I, I hate victories that are kind of grindy. I guess we could create a puppet so that we can have a, a place to land my bombers and attack them with my bombers. I mean, that's just for uh, later on in this war. Right now, I don't think I need bombers because, well, giant death robots are pretty cool. But I'm sure I'll, I'm going to need some kind of support. But anyway, that's culture and scientific. It's kind of the same thing. You have to grind your way towards getting, you know, all that science to reach all the way to SS boosters or other spaceship parts. And then at the same time, you kind of need to wait till... You actually get the spaceship to get to um, to get to Alpha Centauri, which could re um, make for some very very awesome gameplay where like every other every civilization is trying to get at you, which can make the final um, turns um, very very you know tense and amazing for warfare and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's a little bit stupid that you have to wait. So I don't know. I don't I don't really like science and culture for those reasons because it's very grindy. And I don't really like uh, diplomatic victories because they usually will start off as quests, but then later later on into the game, because of the amount of times that you get the, oh, can you attack this city-state while you support me, and then you lose that city-state quest. Well, because you kind of get those quests a lot more later on in the game, because a lot of city-states know each other by then. Then, you come into a situation where you're like, oh, I should just give them gold and not even do the quests, and... A little it's a little bit annoying I, I don't really like how this game structures their victories all too well I do like the new culture victory that they have in place for brave new world but other than that uh, no not not really a lot of things I'm looking forward to in this game kind of other than you know combat civilizations the religion mechanic and others I mean like I've said before and this game is amazing don't get me wrong this is just my overall critique of the game as a whole since I have I have 500 hours into the game I've got to negotiate no we can't four civilizations remain in possession all right so that's Mongolia let's see who else let's see who else Mecca Honolulu yeah okay I it's about to say who am I missing and then I'm like oh wait Honolulu Honolulu, Honolulu. Honolulu. Where's Lilo and Stitch from anyway? Are they from Honolulu or are they from Nuka Haiva or the other Hawaiian islands? Like, are they on this one? Are they on this one? Are they on even this one? Or are they actually on Honolulu? Honolulu? I mean, I'm so confused. God, Honolulu. That's, that's a name that always twists my tongue in a very weird and seductive fashion wow 82 happiness what the fuck when did this happen god i feel like a chinese hooker on tip day this is such a grand grand day in fact not even a chinese hooker a any type of hooker really Okay, you're not going to take that city. Alright, so... Just go over here. Alright, what else? What else to do? What other than taking out these few remaining units that are kind of a little bit of a nuisance? 
Nothing really. I mean, right now it's just clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody gets a fair. Or however the song goes. I, I can't remember how the song goes. Wow, I don't have a childhood. I just realized that. Oh. I feel like crying right now. Wait, Mendel cry? Urgh, I bleed blood from my anus. That's how I cry. Why is Sidon at war with me? Oh, they're just angry. Oh, okay. Alright, so how do I take out Mecha? Oh, right. Nuclear missile. Nuclear missile. Nuclear missile. Nuclear missile. Am I missing something? Oh, yeah. Gi giant death robot. And maybe something else? Nope. Okay. Alright, so those are the forces that we need to take out Mecha. And we're going to nuke the city. Come on, Washington. Stop fighting. It's over, man. Game over, man. Game over. The Germans have won. World War II is over, man. It's Wolfenstein all over again. Mecha Hitler. Actually, they should put this in into um. They should put this in the game. They should make a a unit at the end of the game for the Germans or any guy any civilization. Where you take your leader and you put him inside a mech unit, and it has like 1,000 HP and 1,000 like um, strength, and it, and it can like literally mow down units across like an um, across the entire game. And the the single unit that the leader is driving is so big that it covers four tiles or one or um, two tiles to actually move through. So you can't get through choke points and stuff, but it can levitate through um, mountains fly over water and still can contain the strength that it has also it can carry nukes on its back so it can carry three nukes that would be a perfect end game unit oh did I mention it can also one shot cities and use my control to turn the populace into zombies yeah that would be fucking sick no giant death robot oh Peace must be made with Incas. Oh, poor giant death robot. Poor, poor giant death robot. You will be missed. Greatly. Now, what else? What else can we do? What else? I'm kind of right now just going through what we can do, really. Because we've conquered India right now. And soon in one turn... Wow, that's a lot of damage. And soon it... Um, in one turn, we're going to conquer, you know, Mongolia, so. Kind of doesn't matter anymore. 80 fucking happiness. My god, what does India have? What does Delhi have, actually, to be precise? How does Delhi have so much happiness? What the hell? This is crazy. Just crazy. Cry, cry, girl. Cry, cry. I unfortunately can't look because apparently the Americans think that their turn is so amazing. Ah, that's why. That's a lot of happiness. That is a lot of happiness. Alright, so uh, let's see what... I, I'm going to stop saying what else we can do because right now I know what we can do. I wonder if we can sell our cities. We should give all of our cities to Sweden. Just right now, just give away all of our uh, cities to Sweden. That would be amazing. I wonder if there's any way for the ally, to, uh, for the um, the AI to win. And so far, from what I can gather, the Egyptians are trying to win a scientific victory, but right now, with their main cities kind of gone, it's useless. They can't. They can never win. Wow, that's a lot of quests. Annoying, the Aztecs are now allies. Did Belgrad just gave me a free giant death robot? Belgrad, this is the greatest gift someone's ever given me ever. Agree. Oh my god. Alright, first let's get... Let's finish mercantilism, I, I mean, uh, finances, I guess. Not mercantilism. Wow, they did give me a free giant death robot. Oh, I love you so much. I'll make love to you. I'll make love to all of you Belgradians. Alright, time, I never thought I would say this, but time to nuke Mecca, apparently. 
Oh, this is gonna suck for all these ships. Oh, that's a lot of damage. All right, just nuke it all. You know, and you know what? Um, the um, Egyptians want to play. Fine, let's play Egy Egypt. Let's play. Let's let's play. Come on, I like to play. Let's just nuke everything. Everything must be nuked. Everything. Oh, okay, that was good. That that felt good. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I feel so good. Da, na, 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 na. I feel good. What do I do with this guy? Go over here and get me more gold, I guess. Wealth. Alright, so right now, do we have anybody that can... Oh, god damn it. I keep pressing the period button. Oh, one more turn. Yep, heal up. Then you guys can continue moving forward. We are definitely going to take the city in one turn. And wow, this is going to be a really short recording. I thought this would be, uh, like, amazing and massive, to be honest, but no. Alright, so while we're moving up, I guess this is a good time to talk about the channel. And as you guys have been have noticed, I've actually been doing a lot of, you know, other video games recently, and not a lot of Civilization, and that's because, well, I need to diversify, and, you know, I like to play a lot of other games, you know, I like to play a lot of Copy Fuels, too, I like to play a lot of... Uh, planetary Annihilation. Well, I don't play a lot of Planetary Annihilation. That's because, well, the alpha is kind of a little bit buggy. In fact, I shouldn't even say a little bit buggy. No, it's a very, very buggy game. And I'm completely annoyed by it sometimes. But it's a very endearing and awesome game. Can I not get the Amphibious Promotion? That sucks. Anyway, so it's a very, it's a very, you know, cool concept for the game, you know battling over many planets over many solar systems firing nukes at each other massive armies blah 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 all that stuff kind of like supreme commander that's awesome and stuff but at the same time it's an alpha the alpha is not finished and you know a lot of the features that drew me into the game aren't implemented yet so i kind of don't have an extreme love for the game but once it's in beta or maybe later alpha or maybe even um i guess full retail release then I'll completely love the game. But for now, no, that's that's not happening. But yeah, more Planetary Annihilation videos are actually going to come out for me. Detailing about, you know, the alpha features. How to play the game in general. What to expect from the beta, alpha, beta coverage, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. Just a full-on coverage and, you know, a lot of videos about the game. And Cup of Heroes 2, if you guys are well aware on my channel... I do a lot of live games and pre-recordings of replays and stuff like that. I've kind of strayed away from replays because I don't really know too much about the game to allow myself to have like an announcer voice like Husky Starcraft or In Company of Hero 2 um, terms the Frontline Network. And honestly, I think if I play more of the game live, then I kind of will get better at the replay thing and then I'll do replays. Right now, however, this is all work in progress. So yeah, those are two games that will be shown on my channel a lot after, well, while we wait for Brave New World and also, you know, just in general, they're going to be shown a lot, even with Brave New World coming out. Um, and other than that, Rome 2, obviously, we're going to do more update videos, but at the same time, the game is very far away from actually being played, and since there's no beta or demo coming out for the public, it sucks, it does, but at the same time, you know, it's not that bad because we can just look at the live streams and gameplay and stuff like that, and when it does finally come out, it will be epic. So those are three games that I've kind of been wanting to play and put on the channel. Another game we're going to do is Command and Conquer Generals. God fucking da stupid civilians. This is why I don't keep my civilians on automated, because they go all over the place, and they go from Timbuktu to Antarctica, and all of a sudden, oh... Other fucking are killed by a ship apparently because they were out at sea. That's why I don't automate. So when you guys get mad that I auto I don't automate my workers, keep in mind I'm just trying to save them. <laughs> anyway, so oh god, I hit my mic. That's another thing. That's a good segue actually to talk about my new microphone, which is coming in, coming in uh, pretty soon. I just need to scratch up more money. I'm going to buy a stand for the microphone, a little sound breaker, so you guys don't have to hear the. <laughs> Sorry for um, about that, headphone users. But yeah, I uh, hear my breathing and stuff like that. And I'll have a, a pretty good microphone in general. 
I think when it comes to recording this game or games in general, people have an issue with my voice. And I can understand that fully because I'm using Siberia V2s. So I'm using a headset. I'm using a microphone headset. $60. Not a good microphone. So I can understand completely where you guys are coming from. So I'm going to get a better microphone. And I'm going to do that because this channel is worth investing money into. I've already invested money into my computer. To all that stuff. And I want to continue doing this. This is my dream. This is my hobby. And I enjoy this. What I don't enjoy is the fucking game crashing. But other than that. I like it. And what else? What else to talk about? Uh, other than that. Command and Conquer 2 Generals. I want to play that game. Because you know it's pretty cool. I love Command and Conquer. I've played Red Alert 3. Kane's Wrath. Tiberian Wars. And I cannot wait for for the new one that's gonna come out it looks much like uh tiberian wars and red alert 3 and all that stuff so i just I, I, i'm gonna love it i'm just going to fucking love it i was a little bit worried about a new command and conquer game simply because command and conquer 4 just sucked asshole i mean you take out base building and you put in this little stupid at at wannabe walker and then all of a sudden you expect us to like it what just retarded so I can't wait till the game comes out and I'm going to make videos about that. Will I make update videos like Rome 2? Eh, we'll have to see. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of information about the game right now. So that's going to be on hold for now. And I'm going to think about making update videos about that. Right now, however, there's going to be an update during the summer. So I'm going to make videos if there's no NDA. So yeah. And what else? That's about it, actually. Yeah. So that's a little peek into what Master Waffleness is cooking up for you guys. Fuck. Alright, so... Let's just attack, I guess. And we're steaming, um, we're steaming through these guys, actually. There's no hope of victory. Bad than old hope. Ye ho Ha ha ha. Alright, so I don't care if anybody adopts my religion right now. Alright, so let's try to protect this giant death robot by blocking the straight with some mechanized infantry. In fact, either way, mechanized infantry or giant death robot, we're going to be able to conquer mech up. No doubt about that. Alright, so more gold for uh, me. Tilla's court. And nothing. Okay. Hold fast, heal up, and you can move in as well. Actually, you can take out that mobile sand. That's good. Heal up, good. Heal, heal, go. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a puzzle. You heal and then you go and then you kill and then, you know, the circle of life continues. The circle of life and death. We will live. They will die. If you guys don't know where that's from, that's from League of Legends, Nasus says that a lot. I don't know why. Nasus is a walking Anubis dog. If you guys don't know. Oh my god. Please. Please let me move my units. Thank you. Nuke. Yes. The mightiest of nukes has landed on the capital. Alright, so let's see. Alert. Fuck, why can't I speed through this? Just speed through this entire process. Ooh, I don't want to speed through that. Oh, I may drop victory! Why can't I click? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't calculate that. <laughs> Shit. This is gonna end really badly for that giant death robot. Please, please hit my giant death robot over here, please. You must. You must. He's probably going to hit the one of them in the ocean. I mean, it's just guaranteed. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of the hits on my giant death robot. Apparently, poor giant death robot. He lasted longer than he should. Not gonna lie.
And of course. Of course. Well, the invasion of Honolulu is actually beginning to look pretty grim. God damn it. If we have to continue this let's play because conquering Honolulu is taking longer than it should, I'm going to get pissed. It's times like these where I'm like, why did I sell my military? Well, there's a bright side to this, actually. I have Cusco. Which is in resistance for seven turns. Oh, goody. Maybe I could just end the recording and just say, oh, guys, we won. No, just don't worry that we didn't conquer Honolulu. It's not like they matter as a civilization. Oh, that's not, that's unfair. Polynesia does matter. Now then. Seems like nothing's going on. Ow, just a lot of damage on that one giant death robot. Need to pull him back. Can I take the city with this amount of units? Maybe. Maybe. If the heart of the cards is true and righteous. Believe in the heart of the cards. Yugi. 76. Wow. That's crazy amount of happiness. That's crazy. That's too much happiness. Way too much. Oh, nope. Here comes the Egyptians. They're a little bit pissed. Ah. And they have every right to be pissed. God, I love lemonade. It quenches my throat. Very, very uh, effectively, actually. It's kind of like camel semen. Just going down my throat. Very nice. Barbarians, you still exist. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, Hoff, bombard the Americans. Now let's just land the um, Gen Def robot over here. A little bit of resistance. Hopefully, this won't turn out like Honolulu. Because that would be a damn shame, and Hitler would be. Most displeased. Shame for the spray. Oh, yeah, we're gonna take the city. Alright! There we go! Fuck you, Mongolia! Woo! Okay. Negotiate peace. How do we make peace with this guy? Oh, we just make peace. Okay. Alright, so two more capitals, then we win the game. Alright, that's, that's awesome. This is awesome. This is definitely the best day in my entire life. Alright, so all of you fuckers, heal. Just heal. Go to sleep and heal. That's all we need them to do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Actually, for these guys, we can't let them stay here for long. We need to move you out in order to meet the evil Hawaiians. And kill them all. God, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, that was a bad decision. I make bad life decisions. Bad life decisions? No. Oh no, rock artillery! Oh shit, that rock artillery is actually powerful. Okay, heal up, heal up. Stay. 